I choose to believe in a God who has revealed himself in the person of Jesus Christ. That is the God that I choose to believe in. Paul acknowledges in Acts chapter 17 and verses 28, he says, In him we live and move and have our being. So Christianity has often seemed impatient with the idea of doubt. Certainty, no doubt, has been seen as the test of faith. Let me say this to us as we begin this series, that God is very comfortable with our doubts and our questions. They don't shock him. They don't make him lose his sovereignty. Instead, he is patient with us, and he is willing to reveal himself to those who are truly searching for truth. And even those who are looking for a God that they can't understand. And if you are, however, ever in doubt, the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ is a glaring reminder that does not only God exist, but He loves you personally. And He has a purpose for your life. The cross, the painful cross that He took on our behalf is a reminder that you and I always matter to God.